How's it going guys? I'm Ronald Jr. Welcome back to Guitar Tip Thursday. Today we're going to be talking about how tight should a boat on neck be. Um, you see a lot of people raunching on these things with a screwdriver. Um, they, I mean they'll torque them down and I've actually seen guitars where the plate is bent. I actually have one where somebody torqued the neck so tight that it bent the plate and when I went to go shim the neck on this guitar um, the bolts were so tight I could barely back them out. So today I have the guitar that we fixed up and today I'm going to show you how I tighten the necks on my guitars. Now I don't use a screwdriver right off the bat, I actually use a drill. And a lot of people are going to lose their mind, but this is perfectly fine. I'm not going to be over here drilling into the body because I have a lot more self-control and actually fender does the same thing now i'm just going to show you that i have this thing set on one speeds on one and i'm just going to show you that i can't over tighten these bolts right i'm just going to it won't move anymore and the reason why i want to show you this is because people think if you use a drill it'll strip something out check this out look at that i can still turn the screw okay so if you have your drill set on a low settings and you have a drill like mine that's a pretty good drill you won't over tighten it but that's not what we're going to be doing today um we're actually going to run these screws in a little bit Now, I ran those screws in a good bit, but as you can see, the plate is still loose, okay? So, make sure the neck's in the pocket, um, and you still have your plate loose. Now, this is where I use a regular screwdriver. Now, I go in a crisscross pattern because sometimes you can jack the neck up by just tightening up here or one side. I like to go in a crisscross pattern. It's just me. If you do it a different way, that's fine. So what I usually do is I like to start on the bottom and I just tighten it like this. All right, now you can see the plate still moves just a little bit, right? So we'll do that crisscross pattern, just a little bit of turns at a time. All right, as you can see the plate, I don't know if you can see that, but it just moves a little bit. I can feel it move a little bit. What we wanna do is uh, tighten it down just a little bit more. Okay, that plate is not moving. That plate is solid and the neck is solid. The neck is not going anywhere. So you don't have to raunch on these necks. You don't have to, like, like you're torquing a head bolt on the vehicle. You don't have to sit here and turn these. And, and, and what will happen, it causes so much pressure and it could cause problems down the road. It can also strip out the holes in your neck and you don't want that because that's a pain in the butt. I've also seen people tighten these down so much it actually cracks the neck and then you have to repair that. So you don't want that. This neck is flush with the body. You cannot move it in or out or side to side. That is, that's, that's it. You don't have to tighten it any more than that. Super simple and super easy. Just remember, don't over tighten it. I'm Ronald Jr. and I'll see you guys next time.